Hello everyone. In today's coursework of machine design practice one, we will be solving numerical problems based on combined stresses in shaft. So let us take today's numerical problem. A shaft is supported by two bearings placed one meter apart. A 600 mm diameter pulley is mounted at a distance of 300 mm to the right of left hand bearing, and this drives a pulley directly below it with the help of belt having maximum tension of 2.25 kN. Another pulley 400 mm diameter is placed 200 mm to the left of right hand bearing and is driven with the help of electric motor and belt which is placed horizontally to the right the angle of contact for both the pulleys is given as 180 degree and coefficient of friction mu is given as 0.24 in this question we have to determine the suitable diameter for a solid shaft for which working stress of 63 mega pascal in tension and 42 mega pascal in shear has been given assume that the torque on one pulley is equal to that on the other pulley so while solving such type of problem the first step is to draw the space diagram showing the arrangement of bearings shaft and the pulleys after that in the next step we will be determining the loads acting at various points on the shaft and the bending moments due to load acting at various points and in the last we will be using equivalent bending moment and equivalent twisting moment equation to find out the diameter of solid shaft so let us proceed with the first step as we can see in the space diagram there are two bearings a and b a is your left hand bearing and b is your right hand bearing which are placed at a distance of 1 meter apart there is a pulley of 600 mm diameter which is placed to the right of left hand bearing at a distance of 300 at a distance of 300 mm and this pulley has been named as pulley c there is another pulley of 400 mm diameter which is placed to the left of right hand bearing at a distance of 200 mm and this pulley has been named as pulley d as it is also given in the question 600 mm diameter pulley that is pulley c is driving another pulley which is placed directly below it so the tension acting on pulley c will be in the vertical direction and we have taken these tensions as t1 and t2 and it is given that pulley d is receiving the power from the horizontal electric motor and belt so the tensions acting on pulley d will be in the horizontal direction and for this we have taken tensions as t3 and t4 so let us find out the tensions acting at point c and point d let t1 is the tension in the tight side of the belt on pulley c and t2 is the tension in the slack side of the belt on pulley c the value of t1 has been already given in the question that is 2250 newton as we know the relation 2.3 times log of t1 by t2 equals to mu theta and in this equation the value of theta will be substituted in terms of radian and if we substitute the value of theta and mu in this equation the value of t2 can be easily find out so on solving the equation the value of t2 comes out to be 1058 newton as t1 and t2 both are acting in the vertical direction so therefore the vertical load acting on the shaft at c equals to wc which is equals to t1 plus t2 and the value comes out to be 3308 newton as there is no vertical load acting on the shaft at d so the vertical load on the shaft at d comes out to be zero now find out the torque acting on the pulley c the torque acting on the pulley c is given by capital t equals to t1 minus t2 into rc rc is the radius of pulley c so on substituting the value of t1 and t2 and rc the value of t comes out to be 357 0.6 newton meter and now let us find out the tensions or the loads acting at point d let t3 equals to tension in the tight side of the belt on pulley d and t4 equals to tension in the slack side of the belt on pulley d as t3 and t4 both are unknown so we will be requir uh, requiring two equations to find out the values of t3 and t4 as it is given in the question that torque acting on one pulley is equal to the torque acting on the other pulley so t3 minus t4 into rd equals to t 
and this equals to 357.6 newton meter so on solving this equation one equation can be obtained in terms of t3 and t4 that comes out to be t3 minus t4 equals to 1788 newton and in the for the second equation we know that that the ratios of tension acting on one pulley is always equal to the ratios of tension acting on another pulley so t3 by t4 equals to t1 by t2 so from this t3 equals to 2.127 t4 this becomes our second equation so from equation 1 and 2 we find out that value of t3 comes out to be 3376 newton and the value of t4 comes out to be 1588 newton therefore total horizontal load acting on the shaft at d comes out to be t3 plus t4 which equals to 4964 newton and the horizontal load on the shaft at c equals to 0 as there were no horizontal load acting on the shaft at c as we see that at point c vertical load is acting and at point d horizontal load is acting so we will find out the bending moment due to vertical and horizontal loading separately and after that we will find out the resultant bending moment at point c and d first of all we are considering the vertical loading at c when we are considering the vertical load at point c reactions at point a and point b will be developed r a v and r b v will be reactions at the bearing a and b respectively we also know that r a v plus r b v will be equals to the total vertical load acting at point c that is equals to 3308 newton now we will be taking moments about point a and after taking the moments about point a and solving the value of r b v comes out to be 992.4 newton and the value of r a v comes out to be 2315.6 newton as we also know that bending moment at supports that is at a and b is equals to 0 therefore bending moment at c due to vertical load that is mcv comes out to be 694.7 newton meter and bending moment at d due to vertical load that is mdv comes out to be 198.5 newton meter in the same way now we will be considering the horizontal loading at d now due to horizontal loading again there will be horizontal reactions developed at point a and point b that is at the supports that is at the bearings r a h and r b h be the reactions at bearing a and b respectively as we know that r a h plus r b h equals to the total horizontal load that is 4964 newton now taking moments about a the value of rbh comes out to be 3971 newton and the value of rah comes out to be 993 newton again we know that bending moment at a and b that is at the support is again equals to 0 so the bending moment at c due to horizontal load that is mch comes out to be 297.9 newton meter and the bending moment at d that due to horizontal load that is mdh comes out to be 794.2 newton meter now let us find out the resultant bending moment at point c and point d the resultant bending moment at point c is given as mc equals to under root of square of mcv plus square of mch where mcv is the bending moment at point c due to vertical load and where mch is the bending moment at point c due to horizontal load so now substituting the value of mcv and mch the value of mc comes out to be 756 newton meter in the same way we will calculate the resultant bending moment at d the resultant bending moment at d equals to md which is equals to under root of mdv square plus mdh square now substituting the value of mdv and mdh square the value of md comes out to be 819.2 newton meter as we can see from point c and point d the maximum bending moment is at point c therefore we will be using maximum bending equation for further calculation 
which is equals to 819.2 newton meter now let us find out the equivalent twisting moment the equivalent twisting moment is given by te equals to under root of m square plus t square where m square is the maximum bending moment and t is the torque on substituting the value of m square and t square the equivalent twisting moment comes out to be 894 newton meter or we can say that 894 into 10 to the power 3 newton mm we also know that equivalent twisting moment equals to pi by 16 tau d cube so now substituting the value of shear stress tau the value of d comes out to be 47.6 mm now after finding out the diameter of shaft using the equivalent twisting moment equation now we will find the equivalent bending equation and try to solve it now the equivalent bending moment is given as me equals to half into m plus under root of m square plus t square now substituting the value of m and t the value of equivalent twisting moment comes out to be 856.6 newton meter or 856.6 into 10 to the power 6 3 newton mm now we also know that equivalent bending moment equals to pi by 32 into sigma b into d q now substituting the value of sigma b the value of d comes out to be 51.7 mm now we see that when we are using the equivalent twisting moment equation the value of d comes out to be 47.6 mm and when we are using the equivalent bending moment equation the value of d comes out to be 51.7 uh, 7 mm now for the final designing of the shaft we will be taking the larger of the two values that is 51.7 mm for the convenience the values of diameter of shaft has been rounded off to the nearest integer of 5 so the final answer for the diameter of shaft comes out to be 55 mm so this is all for today in the next class we will be taking another problem based on combined stresses in shaft thank you